It's the weekly reset, so I'm going to go over what's available this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, later on today, Bungie will be doing their reveal for the Warmind, and I will be covering that in a breakdown video after this, so stay tuned for that. However, in this video, we will be going over the weekly reset, and we are going to start with the milestones. So. The first milestone, we have Clan XP, which we need to earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, World Activities. Then we have the Leviathan, which we need to beat the Raid or the Raid Lair. Next is Call to Arms, which we win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Then we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is a Garden World. And next we have the uh, Flashpoint. This week is on the EDZ, which you need to complete public events on the EDZ. And if you do the heroic versions of this, you can do it a lot faster. And then we have Heroic Strikes, which we have to complete three Heroic Strikes. And last but not least, we have Strikes Challenges, which we need to complete three Strike Challenges. So, let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Welcome, like always, we are going to pick this up first. And we are going to start with the emotes. We have Good Idea. Then we have Funky Dance. As for the speeder, we have Solo Stand. For the ship, we have Saint 14's Grey Pigeon. And this is probably one of my favorite ships. Definitely get this if you guys don't have it. For the ornaments, we have the Book of the Dead for the Vigilance Wing. And if you got the Vigilance Wing last week from Xur, then you can have an ornament for it. Second ornament is the Viced Silver for the Colony. Then we have Omega Mechanos Boots with uh, one mobility and two recovery. Comes with restorative warlock armor, mobility enhancement mod, as well as plasteel reinforcement mod. For the ghosts, we have the gray tiger shell. And then we have your purple spotlight effects for the transmat effect. For shaders, we have the watermelon shader. And then we have the Arctic Pearl. Last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallion, Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, and of the Crucible. The Iron Banner stuff is still here. Lord Saladin isn't. It's kind of interesting. Especially after the reset. But okay. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get these awesome treasure maps. And they are on the EDZ. So go ahead and pick those up for 4,800 Glimmer each. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.